yes, look what I found. Google Earth has treated us well yet again. Urban Creek going right under a bridge. Look at this hole right here. You can see it's, it's really shallow through here, but it, it looks like that hole right there is really deep. We ought to catch something in there. So I got to figure out how to get down there first of all. That's about a 30 yard drop. And uh, then we're going to go all the way up and down this creek and try and catch some fish. Thank y'all for watching. Well, after almost dying on the other side, I opted to go to this side, which still looks dangerous, but much better. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So we got all these tide pools that this river has made. Let's see if we can't find... We just had a bite from something. Probably was small, but still. So far, this trip is not going well. Ah, oh, we got something nice. Drag may be a little loose. Oh, that is not a large mouth. I think that's a spotted bass or a Guadalupe bass. I'm not sure. I, I think that's a spotted bass. Help me out here. Isn't it? That's pretty cool. You can see he's got that little, he's got a sharp, sharp spot right there on his tongue. Makes him not a large mouth and his jaw does not extend past his eye. That's a spotted bass. That's awesome. We gotta find a bigger one though. Got him. Yes. Might be a nicer fish. Come here. That's another spotted bass. A little bit bigger. That's awesome. Look at how gray he is. He's not green at all. He's just gray. That's beautiful. Got him, nice fish. Nice, oh, okay. This is big. This is a bigger fish. I think it's a large mouth, but dang, if it was a spot, it would be so cool. Yeah, it's a large mouth, it's not a bad one. Pretty good for this creek, actually. Dang, that guy should be like two and a half pounds. Look at how giant his mouth is for how skinny his body is. Look at that. Look how he was hooked. It really wasn't even hooked. Thank you. Got him. Yes. That was awesome. It hit the bottom and then he wrecked it. That would be another spotted bass. Our biggest one yet. This officially marks the most spotted bass I have ever caught in my life in one sitting. Healthy little bugger. Kept on walking down this creek. 
found this crazy water discharge and probably not going to be that many fish around at this time of year as it's a warm water discharge and water temperatures probably in the mid to high 80s but it's still moving water so we might be able to catch something Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Where are you at, buddy? Large mouth. Would have been a little bit better if he was a spot, but still. From this crazy area, that's pretty cool. All right, guys. This footage right here was filmed about a week later. And I went back to this spot with my buddy Nation trying to catch some more fish and I asked for his help in making a thumbnail. So I handed him the GoPro and this is what happened. There it is. Oh, that's a fish. I got a good fish. Dude, it's actually a pretty good fish. Bro, it's big. Oh, oh what dude. Was that? It's a bass. It's a bass. Are you serious? Yeah, it's a bass. Oh my God. So, Nation. I had Nathan come help me with this thumbnail because I couldn't get a good one when I was here alone. And I just took this pretty here, dude. Are you sure it's a bass? It's a bass. It's a good bass to saw. It's like four pounds. Are you serious? Yeah, it's, it's a good one. From this crazy place. He's way out there. Yeah, get a thumbnail right now. That's crazy. Look what's behind him. That is wild. Oh, it's bigger. It's like a five. It's like a five. Oh, no. Thanks for watching out. I'm trying, dude. I'm trying to get away from him. There he is. Oh, that's a good fish, man. Come here, done deal. <laughs> Look at that fish, dude. That is crazy. That's so wild. That's nuts. It's like, a, it's like a three and a half. Yeah. I thought it was bigger for a little bit. There you have it. Had Nation come help me to get my thumbnail and just check this creek out a little bit more. Got one more bite and it's that fish. That's crazy there's a fish that big living under that thing. <laughs> That's pretty wild. There he goes. <laughs> spot right there. This looks perfect. Nope. Yep, there is one down there. <laughs> Tiny spotted bass. Oh, check this out, guys. You talk about matching the hatch. I had it right before I put the chartreuse thing on. Check that out. This shad was in that fish's mouth. Hopefully he still eats it. Look how fat he is. You talk about a creek ambush point, that's just picture perfect right there. Dang, there's some pretty cool stuff in this creek. Look at this. Got a deep spot up here. Hopefully we can catch a good fish. Come on. Got him. Yes. Oh. Oh, buddy. Get up over. No, he went the wrong way. Got him. Come here. 
just a large male. All right, guys, we fished the deep hole here for like 15 or 20 minutes and didn't get a bite. But we had a pretty good day. I've never caught so many spotted bass in my life. And although they weren't big, I do have faith that if I keep coming here, eventually I'll find maybe a three or four pounder, which would be epic. Crazy to find spotted bass in this urban creek in the middle of the city just like this. And we got the good largemouth bass. More importantly, had an awesome time just wading through this creek and catching fish. Hope y'all enjoyed this one. Thank y'all for watching.